long time ago, you know, in my days of being a, a community center director, I ran activities in gyms, so I do know how to project, and I hope that you all can hear me, all right? Um, what we're here tonight for is to kick off our five-year master plan process, all right? As director of the department, I cannot do this alone. I need help, okay? And the people that are helping me is Bob Ford. Raise your hand, Bob Ford. He is the president of Landscape Architects and Planners. Bob, you want to introduce Tammy? This is Tammy. <laughs> Okay, and you want to reintroduce oh. Michelle. She is one of your subcontractors. Yeah, Michelle is working for us, and uh, she has done this some strategic storytelling many times before. We thought it was an innovative process. We thought it would add value to trying to get people to understand the values that they hold dear to them, so those values can translate into the Park and Recreation Plan. Thank you, Bob. Okay, now, there are a couple levels of planning that I want to just make sure we're clear on. There is the five-year master plan, and then there are park plans. Okay, the park plans are plans for our 114 different parks. These little green spaces up here. Now, since we have Melissa in this group, Melissa and the April Woods Neighborhood Association did a park plan, master plan, for Averill Park. Okay, that's just specific to Averill Park right here. What we're doing tonight, you know, is starting off the planning process for the whole Parks and Recreation Department, all 114 parks, which includes the uh, three cemeteries, our golf courses, okay, our, our uh, Turner Dodge Historic Home and Finner Nature Center, you know, and, and this is the five-year plan that was put together for 2005 to 2010, okay? The most important piece of this document, you know, is this page right here, our capital improvement schedule, all right? Here's where we predict all the wonderful things that we'd like to do within the next five years, all right? So some of the things that, that are on here is develop Cavanaugh and McGuire Park, for one. That's going to happen. As you know, the river trail goes down and it ends at McGuire Park. We have a plan for developing McGuire Park, and that will happen. Uh, Francis Park. Uh, park improvements. If you go over to Francis Park today, you will see that we just started, maybe even finished, a perimeter trail in Francis Park. We love trails. Davis Park. There's a new trail in Davis Park. Okay? Um, when we talk about uh, Hunter, that's in here. Hunter Park has a new swimming pool, renovated swimming pool, as part of a grant. Okay, so these are things that have been listed in here, you know, early on, and we follow this, all right? We follow this plan. It's not something that I just put on a shelf and, and hide, okay, and collects dust. This is something that we really actually use. Okay, so that's what we're here today for. And another thing that's contained within this document is where you're sitting at today, Southside Community Center. That's within that five-year plan, this five-year plan, okay? And so I want to welcome you because actually this is the first community meeting in the Southside Community Center. We are open. We're open uh, uh, for our classes. Some of you went past our NIA class uh, during the day. All the stuff back here is for our kids' camp, which is, is uh, meeting every day here. Uh, the swimming pool will be open as soon as we get the DEQ permit, and we'll be offering swimming here, you know, lessons as well as open swim. So this is really our first community meeting, you know, here at the South.